May I ask, how did the traveler come to follow my brother? I was broken. Freya, shall we go? I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Yet I hope this alliance has some staying power after all. It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards <laughs> terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word. This lock is different from others you might know. You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. Bruna. Go ahead, carve the letter. Suna. It's an Su Na. Elves and bears can't mention the gate like this in Alpine. Kept on about some sacred light elf sanctum out past the Baron. <laughs> A trip to Alpine. There's a fallen log in the river. It has something on it I don't recognize. Looks like soundstone to me. I'm sure those new arrows Brock gave you would make quick work of that. So it's true. Tears really alive? Aye. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now. But he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. Well, if you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfine's desert. Hmm. If you want to continue exploring, good. We can explore the river now. And hopefully right soon we find us. Well, brother, before you see the lad again, might we discuss an approach? We will tell you what it has been. That is my approach. Ah, classic Spartan diplomacy. Did you say Odin invited him to Asgard, and then he disappeared for two days? Aye, but surely the lads have more sense than to... Don't underestimate Odin's powers of persuasion. He filled my son's head with lies. Why wouldn't he do the same with yours? Sucker, he owes me one. Fight me now and eternally. Well, looky there. Glad you can make the trip, your goddessness. I put your sigil magic on the young turd's bow. 
But then he and Sindri got into it over something. Mm, I don't rightly know who's yelling at who in there. That's right. Well, come on, then. Hey, Tyr! Wake up! You got company. Now, why don't you just make yourself at home in Sindri's so-called stud? You better screw his head back on. And I mean tightly. So you're back. Are you ready to answer me? About what? Where did you go? Freezing cold. Lots of hellwalkers. Definitely in Midgard. Keep it coming. You're just helping me stay warm. <laughs> Yep. Home sweet home. <laughs> Gotta find some shelter. When did it get so bad out here? Something out here doesn't want to kill me. Just need someplace warm. Then I can figure out where to go next. Uh, that doesn't look good. What is this thing? Some kind of white? Tell me something. First, he thinks I've been to Asgard. Then, line. Ah! I'm trying to save your life, you big jerk. Gotta get out of the corner. I 
find shelter, and then what? Where could I go? If I go to Asgard, following the prophecy where Father ends up dead, if I stay locked up at home, there's nothing I can do to stop it. I guess in Asgard, I could at least keep an eye on Odin. Be a spy. Find out his plan. Keep control of this. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't go to Asgard. Wait, are those red leaves? Freya's house. Oh, no. Charlie? What a mess. I know, buddy. I know. It's cold in here. Freya hasn't been checking on you? Right. Too busy hunting us down. Come on. Let's get you warmed up. Should be able to make a fire from all this mess. I can't believe she never came back to check on her house. To check on you. That's not an excuse. Should've learned to swim before Midgard froze over. Hello? I'm here! Odin? Bird, is this Asgard? Hey, wait up! The wall! This is Asgard! Hold on! I'm coming! Oh! You don't seem friendly. in Asgard. Led me around those. Yeah, danger. I know. Got it. I see him.
gonna say to Odin? Uh, hi. I came to be your apprentice, I guess. But it doesn't mean I, like, serve you now. Not in a foretold by prophecy. <laughs> <laughs> from the other side of that wall. Wait, how do I get past the wall? I never came up with a mere story about Hrimthur. The stonemason's son built a flaw into it. He only told Frey about it, and I didn't think to ask. Hold on, I was Frey at the house. Did she move in with us? You know what? Focus, Loki. Hmm, father would just burn this away with his blades. But what can I do? Oh, no. Huh. Maybe that sigil magic on my bow can help. What did Brock say? If I could just get that fire to spread to the brambles. <laughs> there we go. Wait. That sounds like people. This I gotta see. You need help? I appreciate it, but I gotta go alone. Oh, I wasn't gonna climb with you. I may owe Odin my life, but I don't owe him my death. Not that I think you're gonna fall. Forget I said. Is that Hugin? Is Hugin your guide? Who? Odin's raven. You know, from Hugin and Moonin. He's a pretty good guy. Though, I'm not sure he'll know too much about it. Well, Loki, you seem like a good guy. I really hope I am not about to watch you die. Thanks. Me too. I, you know not to look down, right? I like looking down. Shows me how much progress I've made. Wow. Yeah, that's great. Can I use that? I mean, a little ironic, last words, but... What was that? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, hey, you're doing great. <sighs> Thanks, Gilder. Hope you're right. <clears throat> okay, I can do this. This is fine. Just keep climbing. And now where? Hey, Hoogan, don't suppose you'd like to pass the time by telling a story, would ya? Yeah, that's what I thought you'd say. Ow! A white? Up here? Coming. Let's get that chain down. <sighs> huh. 
I wonder why I can't hear your thoughts. Sure seemed like Odin could. That was you in our cabin, right? You and your brother, I guess? Taking that for a yes. Breathe, and yes! I bet I'm past the worst of it now. <sighs> or not. Uh, wanna just let me pass through? No? Have it your way. Alka! Do both sides though. Nice. This might work. Here we go. Made it. Hey, you get to fly. I'm doing what I can. Huh. Don't see any more shortcuts. Just gotta climb a little further. Maybe a lot further. But I've come this far. Hey, Hugin. How about I tell you a story? Once there was a giant named Loki who thought it'd be a good idea to accept Odin's invitation to Asgard. So, Odin tested Loki, expecting him to climb by himself all the way up Reemther's wall. So, what did Loki do? Ah! So what did Loki do? He kept climbing. He just kept climbing. His arms hurt. His fingers went numb. It got hard to breathe. Loki. One foothold at a time. All the way to the top. <sighs> Nowhere to go but up. <clears throat> okay, okay. Keep going. Come on. Can't stop now. Come on! Okay. I can do this. I can do this. Almost there. So, 
What part of the enormous wall made you think... Oh, visitors must be welcome. I was sent for, actually. By Odin? The Allfather sent for you. <laughs> Great. <clears throat> then why are you out there? And not in here? Why don't we ask them together? Hmm. This way, Loki of the Jotnar. Wait, is that Gjallarhorn? Are you Heimdall? Obviously. Now feel free to drink in the splendor of Asgard. This is a rare sight for outsiders. Especially giants. Oh, done drinking it in already. Cornerstone of civilization in the Nine Realms, not really your cup of tea, I see. Oh, uh, no. It's amazing. <sighs> Just ask your questions already. How'd you know I had questions? It is my job. Next question. What is your job? I protect the realm I love from trouble. And you think I'm trouble? You just met me. And I can already see you are eager to prove yourself. Way too eager. Probably due to an overshadowing father figure you can never live up to. Good guess. I would also guess that you are... disrespectful. Entitled and... impulsive. You don't know me at all. I help people. Oh! You are here to help people. Hmm. No. No. You are here to help yourself. To manipulate and lie to whoever you have to to get what you want. I know you're young. Your voice probably dropped while you were climbing the wall, but... <laughs> what a twisted little soul you have. <laughs> You are chaos in a spiffy archer suit. I watch your mouth move and I see cities burning. Nothing good is going to come from being in Asgard. That said, if you are here to aid the Allfather and have no treacherous intent, I guess that makes us... Topper. Who loves me the most? Who loves me the most? Wow, that's almost as impressive as Balder taming a dragon. Balder had the luxury of not caring how badly he got burned. I outthink them. Dominate them fair and square. Are these all Aesir gods? What? You think all Aesir are gods? But Skilder told me that oh, only... well, if Skilder told you, clearly whoever that is must be the authority on Aesir gods, not the Aesir god you are currently talking to. You literally know nothing of our culture, do you? I know lots of things. I know a giant built that wall. A giant built the wall that keeps out the giants. Primther, son of Thalmor. I know the whole story. Really? I truly cannot wait for you to regale me with the revisionist tales of Asgard's architectural history. Is that Odin's palace? Palace? Do you think the Allfather needs to puff himself up like some mortal chieftain? I guess not. That is the Great Lodge which the Allfather built with his own hands. I'm sorry if that is a letdown for you. Real power, you see, does not need to flaunt. It emerges when the time is right. Don't you agree? Ha! Hey! Whoa! Oh! Hey! 
Helmets. I brought you a practice time. I thought we were going to Odin. You see, the thing is, you do have treacherous intent. So I am not letting you anywhere near the Allfather. Who's next? You sure you want to keep our father waiting? Funny thing, I am sure about that. Yes, I am feeling very sure of that, in fact. Oh no! Arrows! How fearsome! Oh! That one felt special! Hope that was not the last trick you had! Whoa! Whoa! How is he doing that? You're not gonna stop me from seeing Odin! You'll be seeing him from your brain. What? That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> 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 oh, not even close. Look for it out. Uh, even that didn't work. I am really screwed now. Is that it? Is this all you have to show me, Jotun? <laughs> Wow. I do have to say, Loki, I am profoundly unimpressed. You should probably stay down. Great. Like it or not, he's all father's guest. I thought I smelled something. Take one more step, you're not gonna like how this ends. Really? And how do you intend to stop me? Look into my eyes. You tell me. So how'd your father take the news that you decided to accept my invitation? I don't think we should talk about my father. Not well, huh. <laughs> Can't blame him. Between my ex-wife and my disgruntled former employee, he's not exactly getting an unbiased view. But you, you're curious, open-minded. That's important. Reist, Meast, carry on. Pretend I'm not here. If I'm being honest with you, Loki, you're lucky my offer still stands after you went and sprung tear. But I suppose spending time with him is punishment enough, isn't it? <laughs> At least Mimir never lost his sense of humor. But look, it, that's all behind us now. I like to keep looking forward. Hey, hey, hey! I want them trained, not decapitated. Just keep it below the neck, all right? Is that really what you do when I'm not here? All oh, father. Queen Gana. The Ain Huyar are ready for your blessings. That's why I'm here, isn't it? Huh. Yes, there's a new Valkyrie Queen. Great soldiers, these Ain Huyar. But they tend to come out of Valhalla a little foggy. I do what I can for them, help them remember who they were in life. That's important, don't you think? A sense of identity gives things meaning. Moon Thinafen, Hrothgar. Moon Thinafen Form. Moon Thinafen Tiana. Okay, next up. Ah, the box. <laughs> 
Good. Those are for him. I understand you're an avid reader. These are just a few things from my personal collection. Uh, thanks. Jurgen, those better not be mushrooms, I smell. Listen, I appreciate your offer, but I'm really not sure what you're expecting from me. Right now, you're just visiting, Loki. One step at a time. Steady there, Carl. But with all respect, you need to know, I came to study, not to serve. Another servant is the last thing I need. I need someone with drive, with curiosity. Someone will take initiative. That looks good. Is that braised? But why me? Is it because I'm half giant? Big deal. So's Thor. Erland, try to stay awake for me. OK, but look, don't overthink it. I have a project I think you'll be interested in, a major learning opportunity for both of us. What about my family, my friends? I need to know nobody's going to get hurt. Why would I hurt anybody? The truce is all I've been asking for from the start, if you recall. Look, you're here now. Stop worrying. It's all going to be fine. Almost to your room. My room? Yep, just over here. Feel free to come and go. Take what you need, poke around as you please. You're not my prisoner. And more importantly, I'm not your father. All father, there's a situation that needs your attention. Sif, you missed welcoming our new house guest. Say hello to Loki. This is him? Here. In our home. How nice. My diplomat. Everything all right in New Midgard? The refugees are fine. The situation is with the dwarves. You know who is back. Yeah, it's always something. Put those books down. We got another stop to make. Uh, sure. All right, I'm here. Where is he? He? Oh, he, uh, just over there, all oh, father. Sir. <gasps> uh. Chief, it's been too long. What's the issue now? No issue at all if you're trying to build volatile death traps. I approve these designs personally, and not all that recently, I might add. Did you just wake up with the urge to be a pain in my ass? Yeah. Who's the cut? You training puck pockets? You know what, Verlin? You reek of cheap mead, and that is by far your most endearing characteristic. Now listen up. It's me, your entire economy, speaking. I want you to know that I have confidence in you. Confidence you can deliver me these machines as promised on time, on budget, and of course, safely. The dwarves have never let me down, and they're not about to start now. Right? Good. Okay, so I'm gonna let you catch your breath. When you're ready to get to work and start getting those answers, meet me in my study down the hall. Oh, and help yourself to a change of clothes. <laughs> <laughs>